We're over a month into the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season and already five named storms in with Elsa heading towards the Gulf Coast of Florida as we speak. Last year we had a historic hurricane season with a record breaking 30 named storms and 11 land falling storms in the continental US. When a tropical cyclone reaches sustained wind speeds up to 74 miles per hour, that's when it's upgraded from a tropical storm to a hurricane. The National Hurricane Center uses the Saffir Simpson scale to classify hurricanes from category one to five based on their wind speeds. A category one normally won't cause a lot of damage, but it can bring heavy rain, strong wind gusts and occasionally isolated tornadoes on the eastern side of the storm. As a hurricane strengthens to category two status, the winds pick up and the damage becomes more severe. Category three hurricanes can lead to devastating damage as the winds get over 111 miles per hour. For reference, Hurricane Katrina was a category three hurricane when it made landfall near the mouth of the Mississippi River. Category four and five hurricanes are certainly more rare, but when they do occur, catastrophic damage is highly likely in the continental US. We had one in 2019. Hurricane Michael made landfall as a category five along the Florida Panhandle. Although wind and rain are typically the biggest threats with landfalling hurricanes, storm surge along the beaches can be extremely dangerous too. Think about it this way. Waves up to three feet high can lead to coastal erosion and certainly they can flood the beaches while a surge higher than six feet and certainly as high as 12 feet can begin to flood nearby homes, hotels and businesses. Although tropical systems rarely affect the weather here in Iowa, they are a huge part of daily life along our nation's Gulf and Atlantic coasts, and that's why it's always a good idea to keep informed about what's going on weather wise in the tropics. For the Local 5 Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence.